Hi friends, we have already used various options of a button and we have also changed this uh, values of this options and used it in our applications. Now we'll see what are all these options. Here is a button. When you run this program, we'll get the list of options available for changing. And here is the list is there. You can see here all this. You can you can also change the value and it comes with some default value also. So let us list and understand we may not use some of the important options and its values and how we'll manipulate it. We'll learn all about this. We'll start from here the blank template and first we are importing Kinter then we are declaring the our parent window my underscore W then the width and the height we have declared it here so you can change it based on your, uh, your requirement now we'll place a button here b1 equal to tk dot button now first we have to give parent window my underscore w and text text i am giving because to display button one or whatever you want you can give it here now we are not see these two options we have used but others we have not used but it uh, kinter has already added the default values to this so for that purpose let me just place it on a grid so to display it now we'll say row equal to zero column equal to zero or one whatever because it is the first element so one we can give pad x so left edge it is the gap we are maintaining of 10 and pad sorry pad y is 50 so this is from the top edge pad y is for the top edge this is the now our button is ready and it will be displayed so let's just run it and show the button this is very basic one and you can see my yeah here is the button now let's list out how many options are available for us or the button provide us so for that we'll say print now We'll just give some text total number of options you can write whatever you want so this is then we'll say len len it can, function returns us the number of elements available in a inside a iterable or we, we, we can loop through so this actually gives us a dictionary this is available in the way of a dictionary key and element so how many elements are there we can find out for that purpose b1 dot keys how many keys are there so keys are the anyway it's the unique so this is all the option and its values option name is key and the value part is its value uh, option values so these are available as a dictionary now what you are doing is how many keys are there that is same as the number of options so let's just save this i am running this let's see what's the output is so when i am running this i'll get the bot this output and here you see it is 35 so the output is 35 so 35 options are there for us i am just mentioning it options are there for us to study or update it or change the values now let us list out all these options and its values so here will because it's a dictionary so it is easy we can use the keys and then its values so loop it through so for uh op opt i am giving option in b1 dot keys because we have a list of unique keys are there anyway keys are unique only so are already there so i am saying options so what i am saying now print now b b is uh, sorry print option whatever the name of the option say we tight uh, background color all these option and then we'll say print the values so little string we'll add we'll give a equal to symbol only this is a string only now one more i, I will add it b1 now the key i will place it so i will get the value so this part will give me the value of that option and this part will, will display the key or the option name that's all this will list it out so we'll just run this i'm saving this and running let's see what the list says so my all this window open here it is you can see the entire list has come off here i can go these are all 35 i already we have calculated i am just moving up here it is from here it started total number of option 35 and here this is the option option name and then this is the default value so let you can see here bd is 2 means is the border width is 2 bg or the what is the background color then border width bitmap whether any i am using a text or anything command all the values are there now let's just change one of the values see this is the simplest one border width is 2 now let's change the border width i'll just close this and make the change the border width 
and then display it. So I will say B1. Now I am saying <coughs> BD border width. It is by default it is 2. Let us make it 10. So once I am making it 10, let us see how this affects. I am running this. You can see what this border has also changed. Width has increased and I am closing this. Let us go to again, move up and see how this has changed. You can see go to the top. Here you can see BD equal to 10. You can see this one because we have changed it. Like that whenever we display it also we can change this value. Now this is just for a button we have tried this. You can try for other widgets also and let us know if you are facing any difficulty in listing out. Because options are all not common. Some options are available with button but most of the things are common but background or border all these are common but there are some exclusive options with the values are there. So I will just request you try to explore other widgets also similarly options because these will be you will be using for in our inside our applications for updating our uh, components and even various events also we will link it through. That is all friends I will request you please subscribe to our channel and uh, press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that. If you have any doubt suggestion question use the comment section below to post it. Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.